Okay. Yeah, let's go around and do some of this collection stuff first. Hmm. But there was a main quest back, or uh, there was a... Yeah, that back here. Okay. Just want to digest things for a second. You're better off heading to the airstrip by Chocobo. Got all your stuff? Canyon's pretty far. Be prepared for a long journey. Thank you, Sisney. Wish we... Thank you for housing us. I wish we got the... Yeah, you got a little bit more happening aside from housing us. But it was nice to see you anyway. Hmm... I guess we're making some progress on learning more about what's going on here. But overall, we're still pretty aimless. We're just going to Cosmo Canyon because we think we'll learn more about the planet there. And because of a strange vision that Tifa had that we don't even know... What does it really mean? Well, I guess one way to start would be to try to figure out what it does all mean. You know, we should probably take a look at the town notice board. See if there are any jobs for us. Always fancy trying my hand as a merc. No time to dick around. Perish the thought. Hmm. I just want to pull my is your pals you I think we can do without your kind of help. You can you to be careful careful out there. <laughs> Still can't find can't it in your heart to job. trust me, eh? Don't forget uh, to try some the of The way we snuggled up last night, I thought we'd made a breakthrough. <laughs> Where'd Barrett go? Oh, Kate Sith followed me, but nobody else. <laughs> well, I, I guess Kate Sith must be pretty huggable. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll do all the side quests here first. We haven't done any of them. Teach me, Great Warrior. Youth Coalition Rookie. Yungaga Village Southgate. I'm looking for someone to teach me the ways of the warrior, to help me reach my full potential. No matter the suffering, no matter the sacrifice, I'm willing to do whatever it takes. Oh, chicken, where art thou? Grandma Hen. You wouldn't believe the state of my chicken coop, poked full of fresh holes because of that black stuff from the reactor. Some were big enough for my little deers to wriggle through and run off, and now I'm scrambling to track them down before some beastie gets to them first. Oh, if only a kind soul would come and lend me a hand. Have no fear. I'm coming. Right here? Grandma Hen! Oh! Here! Uh... Hello? Give them Look the at all these eggs! Care, My hens have and been they'll so love you good right to me. I right. share the bounty Where's with the, the neighbors. Next one? <sighs> that should do it. For now, at least. Say, can you spare a minute? Not really. <laughs> you know that weird black stuff coming out of the reactor? Well, the wind seems to be carrying it all the way over here. I'll admit my shack's never been in the best condition. But look at it. Holes everywhere. Holes so big that would you believe it? All my chickens flew the coop. I plugged up the holes, but beyond that, I'm at wit's end here, let me tell you. Flapping and running around like crazy. How's an old woman like me supposed to catch them all? I can't keep up with a flock of chickens. Tell me more about the escaped chickens. Oh, it's terrible. Oh, but these two got away. PP and Peep are so easy going. <laughs> they stayed right here with me without any urging. But Pippily and Pippity and Pippi and Peep, well, they didn't hesitate. Took off like lightning. The black stuff from the reactor, is that just regular soot or is that something something more sinister? The wind? We don't usually see anything like that around these parts. From that black stuff to those bizarre aeroplanes, I tell you all this craziness is enough to drive a poor woman mad. The peace and quiet was the only good thing about this place. <laughs> hmm, well, maybe I can help you? So we just need to catch your chickens, right? Oh, thank you, dearie. My birds, they love the sound of this here clangor. 
use it and they'll come out from wherever they're hiding and follow you right back to the coop. My nose should serve us well here. Right. Take it away. <laughs> Three of them are still in the village. We Whoa. should start by searching the surrounding area. Wow, your nose, Red. Guiding the chickens home. Press up to use a feet clanger to lure the missing chickens back to Kazra. Slowly move backwards as you pull the clanger along. If a chicken gets too close, press L2 to yank it back out of the bird's reach. Okay. All right. Chickens, time to come home. <laughs> I feel like I'm living out a childhood story that my mom is telling me or something. She used to tell me a lot about chickens and whatnot. <laughs> when she was little. Yeah. Oh. Oh. It got away. Oh wow. Okay. Wait. Wait. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Hey. Hey. Now it's too far. Okay. What? Why do you you lose interest if you touch it? How does that even work? Oh god, that's way too close. Oh, we gotta be careful. It can't be that close. <gasps> oh god, no! No! Please! Hey, 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 wait, 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 wait! Come back, come back, come back! Why don't we just pick this chicken up and bring it home? You came back to your mommy. <laughs> it was right there. We could have just picked it up, had it for dinner. I mean, bring it back home. Use that clanger I gave you properly, and you should be able to get my chickens to follow you right back to the coop. The key is to do it gently, coax them along nice and slow. I don't like how Red said three are still in the village, as if there's one that's not in the village. I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> my, my, what a trick you must have hey, made buddy. to get here. I is this a... Wait, that's not the right chicken. Okay. <laughs> These are just random chicken? Over there. Alright, we, we gotta go back. Let me confirm where you want us to go, though. You want me to go... Like back over there, right? Back to where she was standing. If the chicken gets distracted, stop moving. So don't let it have a question mark. Of course you're gonna make it harder for me. Um, um, excuse me? Excuse me! Square one. What the hell was that? Hey, buddy! Right here, y'all! Can the cow, Mr. Cow, could you please? Oh, oh, oh. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh my goodness. Those cows better not come and ruin my stuff. I swear. Oh my god, the people are coming. The people are coming. Make way! Make way! Animals coming through! Move! Keep it moving, what the guys. hell? What the hell, dudes? Ruin my crap. At least we can stop the chicken. Like, we can bring it back halfway through. I can't see where I'm going, though. This is the biggest problem so far. I don't know if I'm going the right way. I'm just following that vague green marker behind me. Come here. And these are supposed to be the easiest ones, too. Because it's the closest. This dumb chicken, just pick it up and... I'm making chicken soup tonight. All right. That's two. Uh, uh, I 
can I say who's livelier? Red or those birds? Pity I'm not a real cat. Am I right? So what are you then? What are you? I'm Kate Sith, fortune teller extraordinaire. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I think it might be time to top up the old batteries. You run off batteries? You're a robot cat? Well, you're not the most famous robot cat in the world, unfortunately. That would be Doraemon, not you. When the chicken is dot 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 about to charge the fee fee clanger, yank it back just in time to continue stringing the bird along. Don't yank when it's a question mark, yank when it does the three dots, basically, right? Oh, we can sort of yank it just by walking backwards, too. Oh my gosh, those guys are coming! Ah! Ah! <laughs> those guys are not cooperating. This is the GYC reminding you to stay away from monsters. Oh no. Report Do be careful. Wait, 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 wait. Member immediately. Oh my gosh, please! Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, we gotta stow it back and then throw it back out right away. Otherwise, it's gonna walk back. I actually knew that you could do this ahead of time because I saw someone on Twitter complaining about this mini game. <laughs> and then someone gave them a tip and they were like, hey, you can actually stop the chicken from going back. So I'm, I'm very glad I saw that beforehand. Oh my god. Uh oh. You're already home. Pete, I was so worried about you. That just leaves Pippily. Goodness me. How far could she have gone? Pippily ran off toward the airfield. We must find her before the fiends do. That far? Okay. Notice the howling stopped. I, I hope we don't changed. have to. Oh, howling like the whispers. Hope we don't have to do that clanging thing all the way from the airfield. Is this the airfield that we're going to for the main quest? It may be. Probably is. Well, we're all following. Should I be on Chocobo back for this? So, what are Free Flyer pilots exactly? Well, since the Republic's on the scrap heap, Shinra all but owns the skies. Birds ought to count their blessings that Shinra hasn't come down on them yet. Free Flyers couldn't they care less though, and go wherever they please. Good for them. Nobody owns the sky, least of all Shinra. Bet our man gives him the finger as he flies by. For real? Sounds like my kind of guy. <laughs> We'll have to see what kind of person he is. Oh! Little rats. Pippily is somewhere in the vicinity. Allow me to lead the way. Yeah, I'll be a little bit more before we learn about the pilot. Oh! That's Are you way serious? Careful now. Are you serious? This is really far. Really? At least there's no cows trying to <laughs> get in our way and stuff. If I walk too far, I start pulling on it automatically. 130 meters, are you kidding me? Um... No! No! No, we have to- we have to assess this. Is the chicken okay? 
Someone please confirm the chicken is okay. Ice, an avian creature covered in scales as opposed to feathers. Is that even avian then? What's the definition of avian anyway? Comes out of an egg, has a beak, has wings, something like that. Lives in forested regions, acting as a guardian that keeps intruders at bay. Grows pressured over time while storing electric charge. Once fully charged, it will counterattack and stun people. We just have to stagger it. We just have to stagger it. It's on you. Leave it to me. Calling ice. <laughs> Oh, they're dodging all of my ninjutsu attacks. You need to chill. Not if it's ice laced. Dodge that. Aww. We're gonna get what's coming to you. Come on. Taking over. Feel me proud. Get him. You're done. Get ready. I don't know if that chicken is even still okay anymore. Oh dear. You can just just cold front it, sure. Leave it to me. It's pretty tough, actually. This is a lot of HP. Sorry. Not enough to defeat us, though. Hopefully. How are you and your your Moogle doing? Your turn now. Can't do all oh, Yuffie, I'm sorry! Wow, this guy actually has a freak ton of HP. We need to just... Bundle up. There we go. Wh where are you? Oh, you appreciate us saving you? Right on Red's back. They're talking! Hey! You needn't worry. Their newfound fear of the outside world has driven them home with all haste. You speak chicken? <laughs> More or less. They were quite eager to return to the village. Kazra must take excellent care of them. We should go too. Well, all's well that ends well, or something like that. The Rookie's Request. That, that's something else. Let's finish up here if we can. I'll just go right back here. You all good, lady? Can I jump this fence? Mm-hmm. Four? Pippity? Peepee? Pete? Oh, my darlings, I'm so relieved you all made it back safe and sound. They appear most pleased to be reunited with you in this place they call home. <laughs> Pippily. Thank you. They can be a handful, and chasing them really works up the appetite. So allow me to whip you up some of Grandma Kazra's famous grilled chicken. No! Say goodnight, Pippily. No! <gasps> no! <sighs> oh, no! I don't think I've ever met such oh, nice Oh god. People. Come back anytime, you hear? There's plenty more scrumptious grilled chicken where that came from. Oh god. They could have lived long and happy lives running free if I hadn't. Well, we all got to eat. Oh. We do, but I didn't need to see it happen in real time like that, you know? Oh, that was a bit... I feel a bit upset. <laughs> okay, this is kind of random, but I was, uh... You know how earlier we were talking about how the next step is to go to Cosmo Canyon? Sorry, 
So his name is gonna borrow your bed here. And then Red mentioned something about his species, right? So Red is not a unique one one of a kind creature then there are other reds out there whatever the species is called cat dog dog cat thing i guess so but something about him must still be kind of unique because he's got that child voice going on number one <laughs> number two he was experimented on by hojo and all that which must have not been um a good thing it's break time, boys. And I... all right Right, so if we want to continue on with an- there's another quest here, the Rookie's Request. Speak with the Youth Coalition Rookie to hear the details. It's just around the corner there somewhere. We passed them. Didn't we? Here? Uh, a little bit- no, a little bit further out. Back to where our little tragedy... <laughs> Why did we bring the chicken back? Oh. That guy? How the heck... Do we get up there? Do I have to go around like this? Um... There we go. Um, since you're here, I need your help to become a true warrior. Please, guide me to greatness. I'm Sotetsu, by the way, with the GYC. Captain's been singing your praises, you know? Telling everyone how you turned some state-of-the-art Shinra weaponry into scrap metal. Oh, so you heard about all that? Well, I don't want to brag or anything, but we crushed him. Really? You have to teach me how you did that. Gotta make Zack proud, you know? Hmm. I feel like they've put in a lot of effort to give everyone very non-standard, non-Japanese names. Cloud, Zack, Aerith, Yuffie. But then we have this guy here named Sotetsu. <laughs> Zack? He's a friend of mine. We grew up together, hung out and stuff. Haven't heard from him since he left the village, though. But I'm sure a soldier like him's pretty busy. We may not be at war, but I bet they've got him traveling all over. Why do you want to become a warrior? To protect the village, of course. We're seeing more monsters these days, and I want to do my part. And, you know, it might also be kind of cool if everyone in the coalition called me a hero and the captain gave me a promotion. Or something like that. This sounds good enough to me. Why are we immediately rejecting it? Sorry, no can do. We're just passing through. Please! I'm begging you! Huh? Wait... Me? Oh! I knew as soon as I saw your throwing star. From the moment I laid eyes on you and your weapon, I just had to make you my teacher. Please, train me in your warrior ways. Oh, I don't know. Well, since you're such a huge fan, one or two orbs might be enough compensation for my time. You sure you're up for the challenge? Of course! I'll do anything! Hmm. Sweet music to my ears. Okay, new disciple, meet me over there when you're ready. For pain. Don't worry. I am more than ready to receive your wisdom. Hey! Come along, see what you can learn, my second disciple. <laughs> <laughs> not a bad sign, though. He's not doing anything like, eh, this little girl. How can she be a better fighter than me? Nothing like that. Humility! That's a good quality for a disciple. And I don't doubt that Yuffie's a great fighter. Not at all. She came here all by herself. He kind of reminds me a little bit of Sonon. His staff and all. First and foremost, a ninja must have stamina. So let's see how much you've already got, shall we? After all, a ninja warrior must be able to make a tactical retreat back to her comrades when they need her. Understood, Master. Okay. Very well. Then with that, let our training begin. Let's go. I don't have to do anything, right? 
Assist with Master Yuffie's first lesson. <laughs> All right. I hope you're staying focused, my young disciple. There's some frogs oh, here. Fiend. Please, teach me your ways, Master. Help Sotetsu strike the enemy three times. Just three times? Pressure the enemy and don't let him fall in battle. Okay. Well, what do you want me to do? I can't help him. I can't exactly. Keep it together. Right. I got this. I can pressure the enemy, no problem. How do I help him hit the thing three times? Just let him hit? I guess so. Need a sloppy. Pressured. See ya. Oh, I feel like we're doing the whole thing for him, though. I kind of want him to be the one to do stuff. Two out of three. Guys, let him have a turn. Let him have a turn. Yeah! Everyone, chill. Let him do it. Oh, he's already almost dying. Oh, my God. Oh, he did it. What did you teach him, Yuffie? <laughs> Come on. No time to waste. Oh good. I was wondering about his health. That's nice. We're teaching the next generation and all that. <laughs> Even though Yuffie's like 16. Like goes, can't see the ninjas for the trees. Do you mind, Master Yuffie, do you mind if I just walk off for a sec? So how did you decide what weapon to carry? You just like the staff? No, oh my gosh. Show me how it's done. Pressure enemies twice and stagger them and don't let the guy fall. Ice. Whatever. I'm more confident with Cloud. Oh, not Oh, there's an Amphidex here as well. Okay. And for like pressuring and stuff, I'm more confident with Cloud for that. Like, this guy he completely died before I even pressured anybody. I need to stagger somebody, too. Oh, I feel like someone's gonna die. I, I'm not gonna be able to stagger anyone. That's it. Yeah, they just died. They just straight up died. Maybe... Uh-oh. Oh, no. This is happening too fast. Try this. Oh, no! Is this really happening? Please, let me stagger. This isn't gonna happen. Oh, I got it! At the very end? Okay. He didn't do anything. Okay, let's keep up the pace. Hey, how about heal me? Heal me. <laughs> This is only your first step on the long and winding road to ninjahood. All right, let's go. Ooh, stuff. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, so that's it. Need a break or something? No. Take your time and don't worry. I'll be here whenever you're ready to get back to it. I'm ready. I'm ready. ready. You cross paths with the wrong ninja. I'll make you proud. Defeat enemies and time limit. Don't let him die. Stagger people twice. Stagger twice. Oh, I gotta go in first. Gotcha. Might want to switch back the leader back to Cloud. Fire. Fire for the Grand Horn. I got this. No way. <laughs> time limit we can probably do. I'm more worried about the staggering. <laughs> Okay, that's Going one. In. And then you're weak against some stuff that we probably don't have to care much about. Oh, one focus this. thrust. Staggered it already. Good. And these dudes are a little bit annoying. I should be using Yuffie, though, because he's looking up the Yuffie and all that. Defeat enemies and time limit. We can do that. So Tetsu has pretty good health right now. 
Good. Great teamwork. Yeah. How many lessons are we doing today? Are you learning anything? Just by watching us fight, maybe? Where even are we? Yeah, we've never been here before. Hey, if we can land somewhere around there later, that'd be good. Secret gym! We... we made it? <sighs> I hope you've got more in you, cause that ain't gonna cut it. Right. I'm gonna take a quick look around. You rest up for the next round. <laughs> Think you should focus on stamina, not strength. <laughs> yeah, Zack told me the same thing. He used to train here all the time. Called it his secret gym. Of course, it wasn't much of a secret since everyone knew about it. But it sounded cool. Hard to live up to the legacy of a guy like that. <sighs> Check this out. It was his favorite exercise. Oh, wow. For strength. Uh, of body. Uh, and mind. Uh, start. Uh, by training. Uh, you're behind. Uh. <laughs> Not like that. Gotta go deeper. Bend your knees more. Engage your glutes. And your quads. Got it. Uh. <laughs> You can't let your knees go past your toes. Wherever he is, I hope he's doing good. You cramping up? Mayday! SOS! What the? Oh, wow. Get back. That's. Oh, what? Mastodon! Mastodon! All right. Wow, they directly just called attention to the squatting, which I'm... I think it's easy to draw the connection back to the flashback in the very beginning when, you know, quote-unquote Cloud was being all weird in, the, in Nibelheim and all that. Mastodon. Herbivores that roamed forested regions. Something has altered their hormones to the extent that they now sweat a strange black liquid. They are extremely aggressive, mercilessly trampling anything that draws near. Okay. If we fire them, fire them up, they'll get mad. And then they'll rest. And then when they're resting, attack them, and you'll pressure them. Oh, okay, wait, hold up! Okay, they actually hit quite hard. To the point that I'm like, maybe I should be curing someone. Yeah, Yuffie. Hang in there, Yuffie. Ow! Ow! Now. Oh man, dude! Whoa, there. I won't give up. So that's is okay, but we might be dying. <gasps> Mount of MP, you're joking! Oh man, no. This ends here. I'd like to. Okay, you 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 deal with that. Kate Seth, you gotta. I know you can't... you can't heal us that much. Better than nothing though, I guess. But Tetsu is doing fine, I think. We just have to... Like nice thing about being distance, right? Ooh! Gotcha. <laughs> oh man. Okay, hold up. With the power of his providence. We need to... We need to be a little bit careful here, I think. Never count a ninja out. No way. It's because they're both attacking us at the same time and Cloud is out of MP. That's what makes it a little bit... Okay. Now we have an opening window here. There we go. You're done. Things looking a little bit better. 
Mm, just keep going. Brace yourself. Oh no! We're done here. Dara got one. All right. Oh, oh god. Maybe I should just stop being stingy and heal up or something. Oh! I'll take care of this. Do you think we can do it with just Kate Sith? No. Titan, help me out. <laughs> well, let's let Tatsuzi. Well, let's let Tatsuzi a Titan. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, everyone's leveling up, and Cloud's dead. Synergy, nope. Kate, Sith, and Cloud. Cloud's not. Cloud's not here, man. We could just bring Cloud back, but we can try doing this as a bit of a challenge. Should we always be bringing the Moogle out then? Too much, I guess. You're in good hands now. I didn't do something. I'm unstoppable. Seeing red. Oh god. Hurl a damn boulder. Just a little bit more for the pressure. A little bit more. Just great. Can you just Thank ya! Run like a chocobo. Stab like a tonberry. <clears throat> yeah, so so that's uh, that's how it's done. Yeah. <laughs> We actually won? Wow. All that training really paid off. Wait a sec. That's it. I've got an idea. See you back at the village. Ah! Uh, hello? What about my materia? Payment. Hmm. So this was Zack's secret gym, huh? Zack was so likable, I bet everyone in the town knew him, and all that. Thank you, Aerith. A little bit more wouldn't hurt. Thank you. <laughs> it's got a little Tomberry target here. Hmm. Okay. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Secret gym. Well, we're sort of in the area, I do feel like we should at least get some of these towers. We have one more quest that we know of, aside from going back to Gungaga to hand that one in. Which is to go to the weaponsmith. So, uh, I'll sandwich that in between some other stuff and we'll get back to that in a little bit. I don't really care about the towers themselves, but they do make it easier for us to see what's around here. And we need to start on the proto relic too. The proto relic's closer to the bottom of the place. How do I get up? Oh god, I can't get up. Oh, do I have to use a chocobo to bounce there? Maybe? It kind of seems like I can't even walk up normally. Okay. We can do that. I think. Hey, buddy. But we have to get up on this platform, then. Which in itself is a- Oh, hey! Hey, is it time to do some babysitting? I guess so. Wanna drop in on the Moogles? Sure. Hey, tell me more about your lore between your, your, your ancient Moogles and, and whatnot. You gonna make it harder for me? Even harder for me than before? Please bring back all the Mooglets for me, Koopo. Yeah, I don't. 
No! I was just gonna say, I don't care what you do, but don't give me a timer. Oh no. The Mooglets are more mischievous than ever, and now there's a time limit. Ugh. Worst day of my life. Alright, Moog. Time to- Oh, no, 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 no. Go home. Go home. Like, to today. Today. Go home. Go in. Go in. Where'd you go? What the hell? It's... It's right at that tree! Okay, there you go. How do I get in there? Oh, they are making this so difficult for me. Ah! Oh, no, I hate this. I hate this. Go! Time limit, huh? You need to take care of your children more. This is... Your children are very naughty. We can have that happening here. Just go home. Go home. Alright, who's left? Molulu, of course, you're always... You and Moolala? Always God knows where. Don't just... Keep going. Go straight! Oh! Mm. Wasn't there a limit for that as well? We can only get hit three times. I swear. I swear. Alright, Moolala. We got two minutes for you, buddy. You better not be. Grade A annoying, I will. <gasps> oh my god! I hate Moolala. I hate Moolala. Moolala! My sworn arch nemesis! No. No. How about you just go over? Go home. Whoa, dude, that's too many. <laughs> I'm in. I don't want to commentate right now because I don't know if I'll. If this will be the winning attempt mode right now, because I've been here for so damn long, because these stupid Moogles have been. I'm about to have an aneurysm. It's looking pretty good today. Okay, why did I jinx it? Why did I. The way that guy just starts taunting me like that is <laughs> so. Okay, three. Up until this point, not so bad. The worst one is Moolala. The timer's not been an issue for me, I think. The bigger problem is that Moolala's an asshole. Can't catch me. Do these guys are okay? This one's not too bad. Just chase them back a little bit. Alright, here we go, Moolala. If that even is your name. So this guy does the bubbles. And I'll chase him and I'll turn around and do the bubbles right in front of me. And I got hit like 20 times by that. In fact, I'm actually gonna chase you this way. Because the other way takes a bit too long. This- See? You see what I mean? You see what I mean? So slow. Go! Little asshole! Oh my god! He's such a little- Don't! Go. Oh. My. Goodness. So where even are they right now? Just- Over here. Just go! Such a... 
Oh my god, I'm so scared. Hold up. <gasps> you may have noticed I've gotten hit three times already. Thank the Lord! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Thanks so much! Okay, I did this so many times, they actually asked me, Hey, would you like to lower the difficulty? So I was allowed to get hit more than three times. That's why I was still alive there. Thank you so much for gathering all the Mooglets, Koopo! After Mog and Mag established the very first Moogle Emporium way back when, their seven children went on to open up branches all over the world, Koopo! Oh, I wish my Mooglets would take a page out of their book. I wish someone would cook your Mooglets for dinner so I never have to see them again. <laughs> that was verging on the edge of level 4 Fort Condor. Here. It was just kind of annoying, man. Like, I... Mo Moolala was such an asshole. God. <laughs> Please shop to your heart's content, Koopo. Oh, I, I, I really cannot do with any more mischief and whatnot. Increases level of linked materia. I don't think I really need that. I'll have this stuff. Yeah, I think there was a book back in the... Not the Colosseum, but the gold saucer I didn't buy. So we'll have to go back sometime too. Later on, maybe. Otherwise, eh, okay. Did you find anything you like, Koopo? I'm... I would like to never see you again. Thank you. You're, you're getting to Chadley level on my list here. <laughs> on my list of people to never talk to. Okay. Proto relics right here. We haven't gotten this yet. Mm, but instead of going backwards to the proto uh, to the tower, I can just fast travel here and go here, right? What I'm gonna do is I'll I'll continue walking towards the proto relic, and we'll see what kind of proto relic stuff we have this time. <sighs> there were so many times where I rounded four of them up. And then the last guy would just be like, Whoa, we'll send a bubble your way and then ruin everything. <laughs> now I want to cook a Moogle for dinner. Ugh. Whoa. Vegetation here is a little different. This is a dead end. This is a dead end, but if we keep going around, maybe it'll be okay. I know to get back to that one tower, we were trying to... Um, we probably had to do some mushroom bouncing. I'll figure it out when we get back to it again. What's this? Some facility? Ooh. Oh, that's just that thing. Okay. Can we... Go in here? It's open. Just random frogs walking around. Wait, the proto relic looks like it's on. It's like above us. How do we get there? Oh. Cloud, wait a second. Security is still active, but I should be able to disable it remotely. One moment. This appears to be a Shinra training facility. One of several in the region. Out here in Gungaga? That's news to me. The official records were curated to remove all mention of them some time ago. They were last used by General Affairs Auditing. The Turks. Oh. I've created fake IDs for all of you. Now, shall we see what awaits us inside? That easy? Just create fake IDs and you got it? Okay. Over here. Ooh. Wait, is this a combat simulator thing? Confirming personnel data. ID GAI 224. Affiliation General Affairs Auditing Subclassification Turks. Welcome to the Turks training facility. Zung! As you well know, our duties often require that we enter into high-risk situations. 
Failure is tantamount to death. Even here, act as though your lives are on the line. Without further ado, I'll brief you on your mission. Calm's Bailey has been breached by armed insurgents, allowing hordes of fiends to overrun the town. Your military is on site. The enemy is utilizing the chaos to establish a foothold. Our mission is to pinpoint their leader's location and apprehend him as soon as possible. This exercise will begin as soon as you are ready. Good luck. They were faint at best, but I did pick up proto-relic readings during that mission briefing just now. So, in other words? In other words, to secure it, you need only lay waste to your simulated enemies. Beat people up? I'm good at that. It's like one- I feel like we did this before, back in Remake or Intermission. Turks training, complete VR missions. Each mission will utilize your current party. Yuffie and Kate Sith? Maybe let's go Red and Barrett. Yeah, Kate Sith. Yuffie I feel pretty okay about now. Kate Sith, I, I sorta get it. Red? Would be nice if we could work with Red a little bit more too. But there's not much healing here, is it gonna be okay? Let's hope so. Don't we have enough combat simulator? This is the Shinra one. Fiend sighted. Attention all units. Engage the monster threat. Of the Turks? Is Rude like a higher level Turk, I guess? Sung seems to be a higher level one. Call this is random crap, right? Now. Let's finish this. See ya. Fire? That's Don't that. think we need it. Need Doing light. good there? Don't overdo it. You're up. Follow my Come on. There. I have feeding time. Victory's in sight. See, swarm of fiends have managed to break through the military barricade, requesting backup. Oh, do we just continue here? Oh, whoa! Okay, that's... That was a little unexpected. Sentinel stance. Guard against attacks to greatly increase vengeance gauge. So this is another way for us to increase the gauge. Do your worst. Right, right. This guy just tried attacking us. And Madunk. It's one of the variants we saw before. Stardust Ray. Ooh. It looks fancy, but I'm not sure how much damage it does. It certainly looks very fancy. Ow. Ow. Alright, alright, alright. Let's get it. Y'all attacking the other one? Seeing red. Oh god! Guys, come on, let's get this dude. Woo! Give it all Leave you the got. rest to me. Hope you don't mind Vengeance mode also roll. gives ATB right off the bat, it seems. Synergy abilities. Savage Assault? Ah. Mm, did it not- Oh no, I got totified! Oh no, okay. I was like, how come nothing's happening? Time is sloppy. Forgot this dude could totify oh us. Time to get serious. Because we don't reset, it would be a good idea to not use our limit break here, I think. Let's do this. Oh wait, is that guy alive? I thought you were dead. You're not dead. You are not dead. Bird. It's likely that this is the leader's last line of defense. He must be close. Don't let him escape. 
Oh, everyone else are toads. Thunderclaw. Ice, ice. Oh, whoops. Okay. Bundle up. Sure. Here is good. Gotcha. That's such a waste on a wolf. Everyone back from being toads yet? No, everyone's still toads. It's toads all the way down. Now we're back. With me. Lead the way. About damn time. So Give them hell. Leave it to me. Stardust Ray. Devastating attack over wide area. The chilling roar might be good. This is as ice. Oh no! Let's do this. Get off red. I think this is especially for people with elemental weaknesses. It's the kind of thing where someone like Aerith might really excel at. Call it sloppy. Come on, it's just a little wolf. The Thunder variant is a bit stronger. Oh. Synergy with red? Overfang. Whoa, I just threw red over there. Nice. Pretty sure that was the first time I tried that. You arrested the insurgent leader. Like Avalanche, then? Because we're simulating. Your leader is in custody. Damn it all! I'll escort him to HQ. Very good work today, partner. Mission complete. Excellent performance. You'll serve us well in the field. The insurgent leader became radicalized against Shinra following an incident roughly eight years ago. He believes his home was stolen from him. There are many who hold grudges against the company, and it is our job to remove these seeds of trouble before they take root. This facility will enter power saving mode. Once you have retrieved your provisions, proceed to the next location. I've made an incredible discovery. Hmm. Whoa, that the proto relic? While the image is still quite unstable, the implication is staggering. The proto relic has been digitized and stored within the simulation. Oh wow! Can we get it out? Without more data, I can't say for certain. Let's head to the next facility. I'll continue my analysis there. Sounds good to me. Looks like this one is gonna be a more simple... beat people up... kind of thing. Where's the next one? What's this crap about removing the seeds of trouble? They really have no idea, do they? It's Shinra's own fault everyone hates them. What goes around comes around. As it should. I guess, but... The problem is that not everyone in Shinra is bad. A lot of them are actually good people. You call them good people. Well, I call them enablers. They're why Shinra keeps getting away with it. I mean, I see where you're coming from. You do, huh? Glad I could be of service. Not everyone can afford to fight back like the way we do as Avalanche. Like, look at Shinra middle manager. He's mainly just trying to put food on the table for him and his wife. If he leads a resistance, like what's gonna happen to his kid? Even for someone like Barrett, Marlene's safety is a big concern, right? So it's a it's a risk. But sometimes people can't help but just play into the system. They don't want to lose their loved ones, they have dependents and other things to think about. <laughs> 